On the day of the eclipse of the sun, some of the crew and passengers of a BOAC stratocruiser reported seeing mysterious objects in the sky over the Atlantic. When the airliner arrived back in Britain, the pilot, Captain James Howard, was asked to describe these objects by our reporter, Peter Max. Well, very conveniently, Captain, we've got a nice blackboard here. Do you think you could illustrate this phenomenon for us? Could you show us what it looked like, very roughly? I'll try. When I look out of the left-hand window of the um, nose of a stratocruiser, I see something like this. Well, that is the uh, port wing. One of the engines is there. And on this occasion, the horizon was at about that level, with low clouds way beneath us. The sun had just set over here. And these objects appeared something like this. A large object appeared at times to be something like that, with the smaller objects in relation to it, something like this. They were sometimes ahead of it, sometimes behind, and the shape of this object was continually changing. Sometimes one end would appear to disappear, sometimes this was very much larger, sometimes it was almost a V-shaped affair, like this. It was always uh, black in silhouette and always uh, quite a clear edge to it. And when it finally disappeared, it seemed to dissolve. Yes, the uh, smaller ones just disappeared first, and this shrunk, just shrunk down until it was no more than just a, a speck, and then uh, even uh, that disappeared. Now, would you say that that's possible uh, some sort of optical illusion, or would you say it was an intelligently navigated craft? At least ten, ten of us, the entire crew and some of the passengers, watched this object for 18 minutes. And it maintained station alongside us, some distance away. And I think there's no question that it was no illusion and that it was being intelligently handled. We were en route to Goose Bay in Labrador, flying at our assigned altitude of 19,000 feet. It was a lovely summer evening. I was looking down on the left-hand side of the airplane, and I saw through broken cloud something moving alongside us. There were seven in all objects. There was one large one and six smaller ones. The big one also appeared to be changing its shape gradually and it stayed with us and the passengers became interested naturally and in fact everybody was agog we couldn't tell the passengers what it was because we we just didn't know some were laughing about it and some were saying oh it's you know, martians have landed and silly things like that but um, no one knew